So I have a question that someone asked in the community, and I feel like, uh, I mean, you know a lot about barbecue and grills and smokers and all that, but I feel like you're especially equipped (laughs) for this question because when I first met you, this is the only smoker that you really cooked on is Backwoods. Oh, yeah. I mean, you cooked on grills and everything, but I guess that was the only smoker you could afford. I cooked on Backwoods, and that was homemade stuff before that. Yeah. That was the first, like, Real smoker we ever bought, like professional smoker, I guess, was a backwoods. And you've had them for I've had just about every model they've had. Yeah, over the years. So still have a competitor in the garage. Um, it's Wayland's, but I keep it. So David asked, "Does anyone have a backwoods?" He said he just picked one up and he's finding the smoke flavor lacking, and he'd love to hear f- feedback on boosting the smoke. So on a backwoods, I do use a bed of charcoal as my main heat, and you want it the way those are designed. It's a cabinet upright smoker, and you want that that coal to burn like from the back of the basket all the way forward at an even rate. So I usually stage it up. And the way I set my fire up is to get me a you know depending on which backwoods model, it might take a whole chimney, it might take a half chimney if you got one of the smaller models. But you you get you some hot coals and you pull your basket out and you put those across the back and you kind of get a little rake or hoe tool and spread them out to where they're in an even line across the back and then you fill that bed up the rest of the basket with unlit coals that's creating when you open the vents and let the air in a burn forward effect and then to get the smoke flavor i use wood chunks and you're going to use way more than you think you would on a backwoods you need so, more than you think you do yeah on a because yeah. i mean it's got the water pan in there and you want it to smoke but it's burning at a slower rate and you're choking that fire down to where it holds those temps down so it's not raging so you know you're not going to and just put one stick on there, and it's going to take care of it. You want to spread out your smoke to, to where it's not all burning up at the same time. It's giving you smoke throughout the cook. Um, and so what I do, I put chunks on it. I'll put, you know, two or three chunks back by the fire where the coals are hot. Then I'll come forward, and I'll put two or three more, and just do that across the whole firebox. And that's going to get you through a whole long cook. You know? So how long? Well, I guess it depends on the size of depends your— Depends on what you're cooking, yeah. how long it's, you know. How long will it But like that's going to give you more smoke. Now— on a backwoods, if you really want more smoke flavor, don't buy wood that's been super dried out. Like you go to the you know Walmart or Lowe's or somewhere, and you buy a bag of wood chunks. Well, those have been so kiln drying that they don't have any moisture content in them, and they're just going to go up into flames. They're not going to give you much smoke. You want to you want to use a higher moisture content wood chunk. So if you got access to somebody's cutting wood, get some, or you cut it yourself, but cut it down into chunks, and it's a greener wood just hasn't been seasoned as much. That's going to give you intense smoke flavor because it's got more moisture content. It's going to slow it down. It's going to smoke more. Now, I still take most of the bark off, but some of it I do use some bark. But, you know, that's that's just how um, you're going to get that intense smoke flavor. Now, you do have to watch green wood. You can oversmoke stuff easy, but you don't want to just be all fresh cut, chunked up, and thrown on the fire. But it's got to be the right content. You know, if it's 18 20%, it's probably okay. Good moisture content. Uh, is that a higher moisture content than you would use in a typical grill? Yeah, well, it depends. Like, depends on what, no, depends on what you're smoking because a lot of times I'm, I'm I mean, mainly I'm using a bed of coals as my heat source. But if you're using sticks for your heat source, you got to have drier wood. And that's why, like, on Jolene or on our Outlaws, we burn a really dry wood because we're getting a bed of coals going. That's just to get some heat to light the sticks, or the dry sticks we're going to put you on there. The hotter fire. We need yeah. the hotter okay. fire. Now, if I want more smoke flavor on my stick burner pits, I've always got some chunks of green wood that I'll put in close to the fire. I don't put them right on it, but I put them close enough to where they're going to smolder and they're going to smoke and it's going to, it's going to accent my smoke flavor. So I'm not, so you're getting some smoke out of dry wood. Don't get me wrong. If you use, if that's all you got, use it. I mean, you're just going to use more of it because it's going to burn up faster and you're going to have to make sure you got plenty going. But in a backwoods, it's all about keeping those coals going from front to back or from back to front. And then like, when you get when that burns out, push them all the way back, reload, again. do it again, add some more wood. That's on your long on ribs or something like that. You're not gonna have to. One load's gonna get you there, but don't be scared to add more chunks of wood as you need it. But a backwoods, I probably do burn more wood in a backwoods smoker than than you know, like a drum or something like that. Just make sure you clean it out after you. You gotta clean it. Yep. Well, you get away with being able to smoke longer in that water cooker because of the water pan and the temps, and the temp, yeah, the temps are regulated. It doesn't 
it doesn't color up and get as hard a bark because you always have that high moisture content in your cook chamber. And so you can use more wood. You can use wood longer. You don't have to, you, there's a lot of times you don't have to wrap on a backwoods. I like running no wrap on a backwoods because it's not going to set too hard of a bark. It's just not going to do yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Moisture because... environment. Like if you just cook it in on a stick burner, you got to wrap it. It's going to be all dried out on top. That's one of the advantages of using it. The disadvantage is the water you got to deal with when it's done. Yeah. That's my biggest downside to a backwoods. Other than that, they're great. And if you want a hard Texas bark, you're not going to get that hardly on the backwoods. But and you you're can gonna fireball get some stuff meat. on the top shelf. Yeah, all the moisture content's going to be great. It cooks some of the best pork. I will, hands down, the backwoods is probably the best hog cooker or pork cooker that there is. I mean, it just it's just flat cooks pork good. That's why you see so many teams in like NBM, Memphis, and May using the backwoods. To this day, there's a bunch of the hog teams yeah. that are using them.